Welcome to Christmas Cookie Week. Today is day two and we are making snickerdoodles, which are a classic, delicious cinnamon sugar Christmas cookie. So to start off with this recipe, you will need a half a cup of butter softened. You'll also need a half a cup of shortening. Here in the video, I actually have a full cup of shortening and I didn't realize it. So you need half of what I have up here. I did use the correct amount for the recipe. One and a half cups of white sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two and three fourths cups of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, one teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, plus two tablespoons of white sugar and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon mixed. So the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And then you're creaming together your butter, your shortening, your one and a half cups of sugar, plus the two eggs and your two teaspoons of vanilla. And you wanna get that really well blended and creamy. And once that's done, we will start adding in the dry ingredients. I absolutely love making snickerdoodles around the holiday season because first of all, they smell the whole house up and it just smells totally delicious. That cinnamon sugar smell, mm, I love it. But it's also such a heavy dose of nostalgia. Baking any kind of cookie around the holidays reminds me so much of my paternal grandmother who I call Mimi. She is not baking quite as much anymore, but she used to just bake, I mean, dozens and dozens and dozens of Christmas cookies. And it just brings back such, such sweet memories to me of going over her house on chilly December afternoons on the weekends and going and baking with her. And I just loved it. Once those wet ingredients are combined, you can see here I'm adding in the flour. So you wanna add in your dry ingredients little by little. You can mix everything together first or not. This recipe is not fussy at all. So I just added in the flour and now I'm, I'm adding in the cream of tartar, baking soda and salt and getting that all blended together and that will complete our snickerdoodle dough. Now for the fun part. Now that your dough is complete, you'll wanna scoop out however big a scoop that you want. I'm using a cookie scoop that is two tablespoons and I really like that size of cookie, but you could use something that's smaller or even bigger if you wanted to. You'll wanna round out that dough ball in your hands and make sure it's as round as possible and then you're gonna give it a little tumble into the white sugar and ground cinnamon mixture. And you're just going to repeat until you fill up your entire baking sheet with delicious little snickerdoodle dough balls. As I was doing this, my dog Charlie was right underfoot. You can see him in that bottom left-hand corner of the screen. He was right underfoot in case I dropped anything. <laughs> he was ready to pick it up for me. The next step, of course, is to pop your cookies into your preheated 400 degree oven for eight to 10 minutes. Since I'm using a larger cookie scoop, I'm going for the full 10 minutes. And then once your timer goes off through the magic of editing, you'll wanna pull them out of the oven. And snickerdoodles, you don't wanna let them sit on your baking sheet for too long because you want them to maintain that kind of crispy edge but soft, chewy center. So I usually give it about 60 to 90 seconds, like a minute or a minute and a half, and then I start pulling them off the sheet. Then of course, you will repeat the process with whatever dough you have left. With my two tablespoon cookie scoop, this recipe made about three dozen cookies for me. So there you have it. There is a delicious snickerdoodle cookie recipe. I will link the recipe below. Also make sure to go and check out the other recipes this week. Yesterday I made peanut butter blossoms, which are my personal favorite Christmas cookie, and I am making delicious cookies all week long through Saturday, December 8th. 
If you love snickerdoodles, I'd love to hear from you. Are these your favorite Christmas cookie? And what cookies did you grow up making in your family with grandparents or parents or aunts or uncles? I would love to hear your cozy Christmas stories because it just gets me in the spirit. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for the rest of Christmas cookie week. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the comments below.